hey, welcome back in, in today's video. It's time for me to talk to you. You're not always gonna have a perfect day. You're not always gonna have a day where you're just on top of everything. I have lived by a philosophy for the past couple years when it comes to making videos. It's, it's, or doing anything else. It's called, you gotta do what you gotta do when you gotta do it. And it's a simple philosophy. I might feel like shit, but if something's gotta be done, I'm the one that's gotta do it. It's crazy uh, to think that you're just gonna feel absolutely amazing every single day. There are things that you can do to improve that, to make it where you, where the majority of those days you you will feel great. Um, and there are just things that happen that are gonna make it just completely impossible. Some things that I do, and what this video is mostly about, is like. What do I do to ensure that the majority of my days are going to be good? I'd figure it, I would share that with you as well as uh, maybe a, a little bit of a tips on the YouTube and how to grow your channel. I posted on Twitter and I said, I wanted to know what are some of the things that uh, you guys do to pick yourself up and put you back on track for the good day. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check out what other people from the community have said and you can leave some comments of your own. So starting off, what's the number one thing that you can do to make sure that you have a wonderful day? I can't stress this enough and this is 100% true. It should be obvious common sense. But a lot of people miss the mark on this. You got to eat food. <laughs> a lot of people, you aren't eating out there. I know, I know people that are eating celery and drinking water and, and taking diet pills, and that's not poking fun at them or anything like that. But that's n you have at your side one of the strongest tools that you could possibly utilize, but you don't do it. You got Google on your phone it's on your phone if you google is it safe to eat celery and water only they're gonna say no it's not listen now i'm gonna go and tell you what most people aren't gonna tell you that's gonna make you feel great right macros you ever heard of it macro macronutrients it's your fats your proteins and your carbohydrates. Now, popular to contrary belief, carbohydrates are not the enemy. You need carbohydrates. Let me explain. If fats are the macronutrient that control our emotions, without fats, we'd be a wreck. We'd be crying. We'd be really just somebody you do not want to hang out with. Proteins, of course, build the muscles. You have to have fats and proteins. Now, if you look at it like this, as car as carbohydrates are the fuel to fuel both of those macronutrients. So the the fuel macronutrient is carbohydrates. Look at it like this. Look at fats and proteins as their respective individual vehicles and carbohydrates being the gasoline to fuel those vehicles. If you don't eat enough fats, you're gonna be an emotional wreck. If you don't eat enough proteins, you're gonna look malnutrit malnutrit mal new malnourished and if you don't have the carbohydrates you're not going to be able to have enough energy in your body for it to carry out its natural cellular functions that should be obvious but i guess that's not very obvious they don't teach you this in school i am a mesomorph body type so i usually run about 202 grams of protein with 157 grams of carbohydrates and 67 grams of fat every single day uh, my caloric goal for each single day is about 20, 2010, so 2010 calories. Now this is uh, because I do work out, um, and I, if you're interested in any of that, uh, any more about that kind of stuff and, and how to just look freaking awesome, maybe if you comment in the description below and you want to know more about that, I, I might post a video on that. I've been thinking about it. I think I just picked up an Instagram sponsor for uh, fitness, so that's cool. Be looking forward to that. You have to drink a lot of water as well. 
So it's like this. Your body is like a computer. It knows everything. So if you drink enough water, your body knows and you start peeing a lot, right? So if you eat enough calories for your body to carry out its cellular functions, mine's 2010 by the way, then your body's gonna expel what the stuff it doesn't need. Now, as sure as that is true, if you're not eating enough calories, if you're just eating celery and water, your body goes into what's called, a, you see, there's a piece of dust right there. Your body goes into what's called the starvation mode and it holds on to every single bit of fat it can. Just a little bit of information that you might want to know. The second thing that I do to ensure that my day is good, I make sure I get my eight hours of sleep. Now I have had significantly less, and there are days where I, there are weeks where I've stayed up three days in a row in order to get videos out. Like when the Mars Argo lawsuit broke, I was up for three days straight, uh, constantly researching. So those of you that think I don't do my own research, I just wanna, I just wanna, uh. So sleep and eating right and reading your macros right is, is super, super important. That's just a couple of things that I do to ensure that my day is going to be good. But even by doing that, doesn't guarantee 100% that your day is just going to be the greatest thing that ever happened. Because there are other external forces. And this is where um, it comes into play your mindset. Uh, a lot of people are going to be coming at you. You're going to have that, that annoying ex that won't leave you alone. You're going to have cyber, cyber stalkers. That's, that's a thing. Um, you're going to have uh, many different things that are just going to outside influence. Your, your, your family can aggravate you. Uh, anything like that. And for that, I would just say um, you're just gonna have to do the best you can. You can practice uh, being a little bit stronger minded. Uh, I do meditation. I haven't done it recently, but meditation can include the actual sit down, close your eyes, focus meditation. Also reading a good book, uh, reading an informational book is a uh, really good meditation. Uh, a nice jog is a really good uh, meditation. Uh, different things like that that kind of slow down the thoughts in your brain that can really help and really make a difference on your day. Another thing that I found that helps me out, and I know this is going to be weird, I figured out that live streaming for me is just a really chill activity for me to do. And you might be thinking, what? That's difficult. But it's not. Like, if you look at it from my perspective, which is a little bit different from your perspective, um, it takes me 8 to 12 hours to edit a fully full length edited video on my end. Live stream, all I gotta do is turn that butt, bad boy on and we're good to go. And I can just chill and hang out with you and that's, it's just a lot funner. So yeah, live streams is a new thing. And it's a new thing that I'm gonna be doing on the channel, obviously. It's clearly something that you guys like. Now, a lot of you guys were asking me, how do I make a YouTube channel? How do I, and I, I joined a couple YouTuber communities and I get a lot of these questions. Um, so I'm, I'll just talk about it. Uh, the number one thing I can't stress enough is you must stay consistent. Dedication is so very important and it's a muscle in your brain that you have to practice. It, you practice it a little bit every day, just consistency. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're posting once a week or every day. As long as you're on a consistent upload schedule, that's all that matters because you gotta think about it. Um, if you keep a consistent schedule, even if you don't have a lot of time, if you upload once a week, then after a year, that's, what is that? How many weeks are in a year? So it looks like in one year, there are 52.1429. For the sake of argument, we're gonna say 52 weeks in a year. So that'd be 52 videos. And if you got enabled uh, AdSense, then that's just extra money that you're gonna have. You're gonna be glad that you did it. So when it comes time for you to actually, you wanna do more content, maybe you wanna start doing daily uploads, uh, you're gonna be glad you got those 52 videos because it's gonna make a huge difference. You're gonna wanna keep a not only a consistent upload schedule, but you wanna keep a consistent theme throughout. Uh, your thumbnails are gonna be want to be really on point. You might wanna learn a little bit more about thumbnails, making sure that your thumbnails are getting across to what the video is about. Really eye-catching uh, thumbnails. I uh, make my thumbnails, uh, it's a whole nother video. If you guys are interested in that, I might do a video on that. Maybe not to post on YouTube. Maybe I'll just post it on uh, 
little short video on Twitter. Maybe I'll do it on the Facebook. I do daily uploads. Uh, it's rare that I don't. I think I've missed six videos. Don't quote me on that. Six videos in the last two years. It's really rare for me to miss a daily upload. So I'm there every single day. If I don't, my, I, I want to keep a consistent schedule. So I like uploading before 5 p.m. EST. If I can't do a video or I know I'm not going to make a video before 5 p.m. EST, 9 times out of 10, I do a live stream. Sometimes I'm a little bit later. Like if, it, if I'm almost done and it gets to about 6 o'clock, I'm still going to upload that video. But if if you want to know uh, more about that or anything like anything around those lines don't don't be afraid to hit me up in the dms i i know i've been behind on the dms but after today's video i'm going to go through uh, this is very ambitious i'm going to try to go through all my comments on the last week's couple weeks videos don't don't hold me to it but i'm definitely going to answer all dms on all social medias and i'm going to get all that caught up and uh I know you guys have a lot of suggestions for different kinds of videos that you want me to do. I see right now, you want me to do creepy pasta, little Michaela, uh, dumb, uh, deep underground military bases, uh, conspiracy videos, and I, I want to get to all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be looking over it and we write it down, and hopefully we can start working on that very soon. By the way, we currently have 29 sponsors. One more sponsor, and we meet the goal. Looks like we had. Colette McClef I have such a hard time saying your name, I'm so sorry. Uh, Skylar joined Amy. They were the ones that recently, in the past 24 hours, uh, became a sponsor. Sponsors is great. My bigger overall goal is, is 350. It's awesome way to support the channel. You get a lot of free cool features. We talk about that frequently. You'll hear me say something about it. But in just general, not every day is going to be perfect. Like I said, there are things that you can do to to make make it better to 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 keep it on a better track like eating right uh sleep exercise is good uh, different things i'm really interested and, and trust me i know that this is very interesting but I, i'm always interested in one other thing that's right you guessed it i want to know what you think so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up for those likes and as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video Yep, looking forward to seeing what it is that you guys do to ensure your perfect day. Or maybe you don't have uh, anything that you do. Maybe you just let the world take you where it should go on a whim. Which I highly do not suggest that. Because there's a saying that I like to go by. It's like, if you don't control your life, then life will control you. And you don't want to be pushed in the wind at will to left to right it sounds fun sounds great you're gonna be floating around in the wind but trust me you want to have at least a little bit of say on what happens because if you don't want to be bossed around by the people that do keep up with with their life a little bit closer yeah what is up greg i gotta work on emojis and a lot of other stuff today so it's going to be great so uh, I know that you're repping, if not repping your Greg. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe with notifications turn on. Be in the comments section to every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat is going to be there. And the rest of the Rep Squad community is going to be there. And I expect to see you there as well because this channel loves you.